Thank you. I'm Hugh Parnell. I'm the chairman of Cambridge Clean Tech, previously known as Envirotech Limited. So Hugh, what's motivated you to get involved in the CRIS? I've been working in the east of England region and the Cambridge area for probably 10 years now, trying to stimulate the underpinning of a cluster for environmental technology businesses. And obviously Cambridge is at the centre of that region and consequently anything that is, if you like, in the low carbon economy is something I'm interested in. And while I'm not yet convinced of where we are going with the CRIF and the Cambridge propositions, I would very much like to be involved. What opportunities do you think the CRIF could bring to Cambridgeshire? Well, curiously, one of the things we said when we wrote the GCP strategy for Cambridge last year on the promotion of the low carbon economy was that public procurement was absolutely essential for the stimulation of the earlier stage innovation companies in the below carbon arena. And therefore the CRIF, if it were to continue, is a wonderful opportunity at two levels. Both those builders that might not perhaps know how to achieve their low carbon obligations will need solutions that can be provided by some of the innovative companies. And secondly, if there is to be ultimately a fund, an alternative low carbon fund, then again, what that fund does is obviously an opportunity for the innovative economy around Cambridge. Thank you. You've been along to one of our events. Uh, how did you find it? No, I think they have. I think the Cliff event is, is, is uh, the Cliff event I went to was very useful. It did actually congregate a large number of people, which is already a good start. They were empowered to express their opinions. There were some doubters and some others with uh, sensible critical comments. I think the team was uh, very sensible in the way they uh, engaged with the audience, and I think consultation has to be uh, an important part of this process. And do you have any concerns about the CRIF or any, any question marks at the moment? I think there are some very fundamental issues that we don't yet know the answers to, uh, each of us, your, your team and, and myself. Um, I understand the impending inevitability of Code Level 6, and I understand that there may well be opportunities to uh, allow builders to not achieve the entirety of their Code Level 6 objectives and therefore create an offset fund. But my fears are several, not least that if we only have as few new houses built around this region as, as are likely to be built, it will actually be a relatively small amount of money, no matter what we charge the builders to top up to Code Level 6. And with a relatively small amount of money, such as the £50 million, pounds, that is a small amount of money, you might just about be able to build 10 windmills. That's quite insignificant in the scale of low carbon Cambridgeshire. So I have an issue to do with the amount, I have an issue to do with some of the numbers, and more importantly I think I have an issue to do with the principle of how best we manage the, the, the offset from achieving low carbon in buildings, which would of course be a legacy for a very long time, versus what we might otherwise do in redeploying the money in another fund, which may or may not have the same long term benefits. So I think we've got some questions to answer, but that's why we want to have the conversation. My personal view, which of course I have expressed to some of your colleagues, is that in addition to developing the framework as you are with the CRIF, we ought very much to be looking in the area around Cambridge at an ESCO, an energy supply company, and that if we can, between us, convert this dialogue, which at the moment is expressed in terms of a possible offset fund, but if we can convert that into a dialogue about actually creating an ESCO, in the same way as we have Cambridge Water, we would have essentially Cambridge Energy, then an ESCO would actually be able to address both the supply side, how you generate lower carbon electricity for the town, but also the demand side of how we actually get people to manage their requirements for electricity and energy such that they require less, because that is, after all, the biggest winner of all.